Well, hello there, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Are you looking for the perfect gift for the holiday seasons? Christmas is coming, Hanukkah is coming, Kwanzaa is coming, and uh, who knows what else is coming. But the holidays are coming, and we have to get some presents for our family. So I've got the perfect one for you. You can get yourself Egypt Station. It's the gift that keeps on giving and giving and giving and giving yes egypt station folks get it for your mom for your dad for your uncle for your aunt for your doggy for your kitty get it for everybody egypt station it just doesn't stop it keeps coming and coming and coming again get it get it get it Whew. sorry folks <laughs> sorry 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 oh man well yes the gift that keeps on giving for the holiday season. Egypt Station, it just won't go away. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, folks. I'm having some fun here, but I'm here to do a quick review and overview of the two quasi brand new Paul McCartney songs that were just released yesterday. Uh, the two songs are called Home Tonight and In a Hurry. And I spent a lot of time with them yesterday and I listened a couple of more times this morning because I wanted to get a good handle on what they're all about and give you my honest thoughts on them. Now, these two songs were recorded during the Greg Kirsten sessions for Egypt Station. That's what we're told. So they go back a little ways. And um, you got to figure, Egypt Station was released on September, I think it was like September 7th or 8th of last year. So it's been a year and two months since this album has been out. And here we are again, folks. Paul is... Uh, giving us two more songs from those sessions. Now let me say right off the top, I have no problem with the Beatles or the, the former Beatles releasing music. When John Lennon's Imagine came out not too long ago, the whole deluxe box set, the complete thing, it's so great to get. When George George's Estate release, releases stuff, it's so awesome to get. Ringo just released a brand new album, What's My Name? Fabulous to get. So whenever Paul puts out anything that is semi-new or something new for him, I'm happy. I'm a happy camper as many of you are. It's just great to be getting material from these guys after all these years. So I'm happy to get these two songs. I just don't understand why did Paul wait so long to release these two songs. And I'm going to talk about them in a minute, but let me give you a little hint. I like both the songs. And I just don't understand why Paul with this whole Egypt Station promotion has played this game of you know, releasing the album and then teasing us with a couple more songs. We got, um, then we got the uh, the Target edition had nothing for free on it and get started. You know, and then it, and then if you wait a little bit, then there was the uh, Explorers edition, which had you know uh, get started and nothing for free, and it had the full Who Cares version, uh, lengthy with the closing. It had Get Enough. It had Frank Sinatra's Party. It had 62nd Street. And some live stuff. And then there was also the Traveler's Edition, which a lot of people spent big money. I wasn't one of them. On the Traveler's Edition, which was the suitcase with all the cool memorabilia in it and other items and the extra songs. Well, why didn't Paul release these two songs, uh, Home Tonight and In a Hurry? Why didn't he release them with at least the Traveler's Edition? Those poor people that spent all those that money... I shouldn't say those poor people. I mean, they got what they wanted. They wanted it, and I'm happy for them. But they spent all that money on that suitcase. Why couldn't they at least have gotten these two songs just as a special thing for them, for all that money and effort they put into getting that set? And then if you really want to go a step further, why didn't he just put it on the, the Explorers edition? You know, put both songs there. I mean, Egypt Station was 2018. It was last year. Why are we a year and two months later still getting tracks from Egypt Station? And again, I'm not complaining. I just, the way it's been done is a little baffling to me that these songs have been held this long. Because they're good songs. I enjoy them. Uh, a matter of fact, I'm going to talk about them each one in a minute, but I like both of them so much that I'm just flabbergasted that they were not included on the regular Egypt Station album. I like the Egypt Station album. You can go back and listen to my review. I was very kind to it, and I thought very generous to his Egypt Station album. But I must say, if Paul had taken off a few of those songs and added like these two songs and a couple of the other added songs, I'm going to talk about that in a minute, the way I think it could have been sequenced a little better, 
I think Egypt Station, in my book, would have been a much better album and would have rose higher in Paul's catalog, or at least on my rankings, Egypt Station would have been right up in the top 10 somewhere. As it is, it's not quite in the top 10 right now for me. Um, what do you all think? But I just think if, uh, well, let me talk about it now. If he had taken home tonight and in a hurry, okay, and let's take like Frank Sinatra's party for a third one. Let's take Get Started for a fourth one. Let's take Nothing for Free for a fifth one. That's five songs right there that I like better than songs like um, People Want Peace, uh, For You, uh, Do It Now, and Back in Brazil. Take those four off, Egypt Station, and put on these songs that I just mentioned. Think about it, folks. It would have been a much better album in my book. Maybe you have a couple of different swap-offs you would have made, but don't you think it would have been a little better of an album if you included some of those five songs I just mentioned? I think so. I think it would have been a, a much better album. But, hey, that's up to Paul. He did what he did. And now here we are with this double A-sided single coming out for Record Store Day. And uh, it's also streaming. And that's how I was able to listen to it on my streaming service. But... Um, I like both songs. I'm going to say right off the top, I didn't notice any problems with Paul's voice on these two tracks. I think he sounds fine. His voice was not distracting at all. You know, as you know, the last few years on certain songs when Paul sings, it can be a little bit distracting because of the uh, how his voice has kind of degraded a little bit over the last few years. And we've talked about that a million times. I'm not here to criticize Paul or anything. I'm just saying... His voice has taken a hit as he's gotten older, no, and, and that's natural. But on these two songs, I didn't notice anything, folks. I don't know if it was the way they were recorded, or if, you know, the, the backing vocals, or he layered his vocals. Whatever he did, Paul sounds fine to me on these two songs. Didn't notice a thing. I thought he sounded great. The other thing I want to mention right off the top is the bass playing. It is fabulous. Both of these songs are pretty bass-driven. Um, the bass is very prominent, and Paul, need I say more, the greatest, probably, if not the greatest, he's got to be up there with one of, as one of the greatest bass players in the rock and roll era of all time. I'm sorry, he's just, he's just unbelievable, and the bass playing on these two songs is fabulous. I love it. Now, the two songs, real quick, uh, Home Tonight. Starts off with like an acoustic rhythm thing going. You know, a little slowish for the first few seconds, but then, boom, kicks into gear. It's a very upbeat song. Uh, right off the bat, you're going to say catchy pop song. Just great melody. Uh, I was, I got to say, I have to give Paul, you know, me, I'm a power pop junkie. Uh, I, I want to say this song is this close to being a power pop song. What do you all think? I think it's, it's, it's a good little power pop tune. And it's a classic McCartney pop song. It just has that earworm. Uh, over you know hooks galore just stick with you with this song home tonight I love it great song uh, and again why wasn't it on Egypt station or why wasn't it at least given to those people who bought the tra travelers edition anyway all right that's just my complaining um, in a hurry this one definitely for a first few seconds or so starts out kind of slower kind of mellow with a little keyboard stuff going on and some bass and whatnot and then boom kicks into gear just it's it just picks right up bouncy fast very again i'm using some of the same terminology but very catchy pop song just hits you right away the hooks grab you and it's a great song um i like it i think i think in a hurry is a great song and again we're getting two wonderful pop songs catchy pop classic mccartney songs but what's nice about them i say classic mccartney but they also have that modern feel to them not in the same way, in the negative way, as Fa You did in my book. Or, uh, what was that one, Get Enough? I didn't like those two songs. Those were produced by Ryan Tedder. Uh, and I didn't like those two songs at all. Paul trying to go too modern, and they just fell flat with me. Didn't like them. But these two songs have that modern-esque sound, but still retain that classic McCartney feel to them. If, you, if that makes sense. Now, I'm not here to criticize Ryan Tedder. I, I like the Greg Kirsten stuff with McCartney much better than the Tedder songs, obviously. 
But there is the one Ryan Tedder song, which was Nothing For Free, which came out uh, later on the Explorers edition, and I believe was also on the uh, Target exclusive. I like that song. I think that's a good modern uh, pop song from Paul, and I liked it. But these two, let's get back to these two. They are great songs. And um, I have to say, Home Tonight is probably my favorite of the two because it's a little more power pop-ish, and that's my right up my alley. But In a Hurry is a good song. So I love these two songs, folks. And um, I don't know because of work and, and scheduling stuff, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stand online to get the... Uh, Tar, uh, the record door, record door, record store day exclusive, but uh, hope that I can get it eventually. Maybe I can pick up one uh, down the road. I hope I won't get uh, uh, taken for a ride online with uh, cost, but um, I'm not going to be able to wait in line for record store day. So I hope that I can get one eventually. If not, I do have it on my streaming service for now, and uh, maybe uh, down the road I'll get one. So anyway, folks, check it out. Um, Two great songs, if you haven't heard them yet, at least in my opinion. Are they earth-shattering, you know, uh, Maybe I'm Amazed <laughs> level, or, uh, you know, songs like that from a Paul's Canon going back over the decades? No, probably not. But as far as um, top-notch great McCartney pop songs with great melodies and awesome playability and singing and everything else, they're top-notch. They both get an A from me. Okay, so that's it, folks. Just wanted to make a, a fairly brief video for you to give my thumbs up, two thumbs up, for Home Tonight and In a Hurry, the brand new Paul McCartney double A single. Check it out. Bless you all. Thanks for being here, my friends, and I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.